What is up, So Hells Kids and everybody else? Thanks for watching today. I'm going to give you guys a quick lesson so we can dive in and learn more about who God is. Today, we're going to talk about Eli and his sons. You see, Eli and his sons were not great. Eli was a great prophet, but his sons, they didn't obey God, and Eli never corrected them. What ended up happening is one day the Israelites went into battle against the Philistines, their greatest enemies, and they ended up losing. Now, to win, they thought they should bring the Ark of the Covenant, which was basically God's presence, with them. But God was not happy with the Israelites because they were disobeying Him. And what ended up happening was that the Israelites lost and the Philistines took the Ark of the Covenant. They took God's presence away from the people of Israel. Now, in that battle, Eli and both of his sons were killed. Um, because Eli's sons were killed in the battle, and when Eli came and heard the news, he as well fell on the ground and died right there. So we see that the consequences of sin are very real. For Eli and his sons, there was death. For the people of Israel, they lost the presence of God. And for the Philistines, they ended up being punished by God as well because they took the Ark of the Covenant. You see, the Philistines put the Ark of the Covenant by their statue of the God they believed in. And every time uh, they tried that, the statue would fall over, face first in front of the Ark of the Covenant, signifying that there is no other God above our God. Eventually, the Philistines just sent the Ark of the Covenant back because the, the whole nation was, was under uh, havoc because God was punishing them for stealing the Ark from the Israelites. So what's the point of this story? Why did Eli's sons die? Why was the Israelite army defeated? Why were the Philistines punished? Well, because sin separates us from God. We're asking a big question this month, and that question is, what is the payment for sin? The reality is the payment for sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So ultimately, God's presence returned to the people of Israel, and in our own hearts, God's presence can live when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. So today, I want you to think about that. How can we accept God's presence into our lives? And how can we separate ourselves from sin? Because uh, if you've ever played with a magnet, you know that the two ends don't go together. So how do we flip ourselves so that we can connect to God instead of separate from Him? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.